My first interaction with the Octavia Foundation was in 2008 with the Grow Roots project. The idea at the time was fascinating for me because I've always lived in, in this area. The project was trying to explore the roots of my home. There were so many things that I learned, just the ability to carry myself in a more professional way, um, having the confidence to express what I think. The opportunity to aspire to be someone that is very successful in many ways. When I think about where I've come from, it's really an incredible journey that is best captured by the fact that I'm now working alongside the foundation to recommend its services to other young people because you honestly don't know where this journey will take you. And, and how many skills and friends and, and people you'll meet along the way. I myself am, am now a family man. I, I feel so blessed to have a family of my own and, and actually I feel that the Octavia Foundation is part of my family. And I'm sure with time, there'll be so many other young people that will say the same thing. The Octavia Foundation was established in 2006, known for its high quality work with local individuals and in the community. BASE is our creative and cultural centre for young people. For many young people, BASE is like their second home. It's a real family atmosphere. I of tiger is the stream of the fight, rising up to the challenge of our life. At BASE we do different things. Sometimes we do art and craft and paintings, making t-shirts, which is really fun. You get to cook. Try different kind of foods all around the world. Dancing and learning about countries. In Kenya we learn that they can jump really high. We can talk about anything, especially girls group, because I go there every Thursdays. If we need any help we can talk to our youth workers. When you're sad, I think they try to cheer you up and when you don't want to participate, they try like just to bring you in. We're learning how not to break a mixer. No, don't talk presses. Before I came to base, it was a bit boring. Well, I didn't have much friends around the area. We would never get to play out. I always wanted to go to a youth club, but I just couldn't find one. And when I came here, I met some friends, and then we started going out, and now I've got lots of friends. We can be confident with ourselves. It does feel like a family, because we always do things together. Everyone cares for you. There are loads of adults and children, which makes it feel like I have brothers and sisters and dads and mums. Today we're going to learn to DJ. We're going to perform a dance. And we're also going to do a bit of singing. We're going to sing it together and we're going to do some actions of it. And we're not going to include any gymnastics in it. So while you're here in my arms, let's make the most of the night like we're going to die. Befriending is really quite simple. It's about providing friendship to somebody who is socially isolated or who is lonely. We've got some amazing volunteers who are making a difference each day to older people, providing that human company that we all need. Befriending is uh, seeing my friend uh, Caitlin once a week. Uh, I come to her house and I take her shopping. Uh, we have a nice chat and a coffee or tea afterwards with a nice sip of cake. I've got uh, many pictures to show you. And you know with my new telephone, they're moving pictures. I wanted to become a befriender because when we uh, moved to London five years ago, I wanted to get to know the city more and to know the uh, inhabitants as well. I don't know what I do with Elta. <laughs> She's my day out. One of the busiest uh, area in central London, but uh, Caitlin doesn't know her neighbours. So I know it's important for somebody who is uh, isolated to have uh, social contacts. This is the only time I can get out. Otherwise, I'm in that flat all the time. It's so depressing. You feel like you want to sort of top yourself now and again. You know, you get so fed up with it. If it wasn't for lovely Claire, I don't know what I'd do, really. She's lovely. A lot of people ask me why I do that, and the truth is, uh, I got uh, more than Kitley gets in the end because uh, I'm useful, I've got some time off the family, and uh, she makes my day too. Claire, she's a darling, she really is. She's my little treasure. I don't know what I'd do without Claire. And even her mother in law bought me these in France and bring them back. And I've never even met a mother in law. Shows you what a lovely lot they are, as I say. Whenever she goes away, I always get a nice card from Claire. I love her. I really do love her. 
looking forward to the next 10 years. We know that it's going to be very hard for the people that we work with, for young people, for older people living on low incomes in Central and West London. And at the Octavia Foundation, we're going to have to use all our creativity and all our skills to be able to muster up the support that we need in order to make our work happen over the next 10 years.